It's not every day that a Marine V-22 Osprey lands in a convention center parking lot. The tilt rotor made a special appearance at the American Helicopter Society Forum in Virginia Beach, Virginia. The annual event is where the who's who in rotorcraft research and technology showcase the latest in vertical flight. Among the presentations, 31 papers from researchers at NASA's Langley, Ames, and Glenn Research Centers. Langley's Susan Gorton leads NASA's rotorcraft efforts. She's also the first female technical director of the Helicopter Society. We look at ha uh, advanced ways for new rotor blades, new transmissions, new engines, everything that can contribute to making things quieter, safer, uh, easier to operate, uh, and cost effective. NASA uses wind tunnels and other laboratories to try to radically improve rotorcraft performance and efficiency and reduce noise and emissions. The goal is to help make helicopters or other vertical takeoff and landing vehicles more mainstream, able to carry more passengers and cargo quicker, quieter, safer, and greener. That could help relieve air traffic congestion, reduce delays, and make more efficient use of airspace. When we look at different configurations and how airports work, the ability to take off without the runway means that you can get off the ground faster, you can turn around the airplanes faster. So if you could move a large amount of people without waiting for a runway slot, you can make a big difference, up to 30% more people through the airport system. The research to make vertical lift aircraft more acceptable as everyday transportation is not without challenges, say NASA engineers. But advancements being worked on now could make a difference for future generations of helicopters and people. One, release.